안녕하세요 여러분 네 오늘은 특별히 이 영상은 영어로 진행할게요 지금 한국에서 여러분들 몸 조심하시고 네, 건강 잘 챙기고 계시죠? 제가 지금 영국에서 한국에 있는 동생과 제 어머니와 친구들한테 서 소식을 접하고 있는데 진짜 사태가 진짜 주말에 엄청 확 커져가지고 진짜 걱정이 많이 되고 있어요 계속 신문에 계속 한국에 이거 BBC 신문에도 계속 한국에 대한 기사가 안전적으로 실리고 있는 상태고 그리고 이제 그것 때문에 이제 뭔가 우리나라 사람들이 차별을 점점 더 당하지 않을까 뭔가 편견이 생기지 않을까 라는 생각이 들게 됐어요 그래서 이번 영상은 한국 채식 음식을 하게 됐어요 왜냐면 어, 글로벌적으로 지금 비건 음식, 플랜베이스 음식이 굉장히 많은 분들이 관심을 가지고 레시피를 만들기 시작하고 외국에서 많이 사람들이 접하고 있어요 뭐 예를 들어서 인스타그램에 해시 해시 비건 해보세요 비건 해시태가 9천만 개예요 비건 레시피는 420만 그리고 비건 푸드는 1,800만이 있을 정도로 많은 분들이 지금 채식 지향에 관심을 두고 있어요 그래서 저처럼 플렉시테리안이 되려고 노력하시는 분들이 굉장히 많아졌기 때문에 유튜브에 보면 은 비건 채널이 되게 많은데 거기에 한국 음식이 찾기 힘들더라고요 그래서 제 구독자님들에게도 그리고 다른 어, 나라 시청자 분들에게도 아이디어를 드리기 위해 평균도 깰겸 <웃음> 한국 홍보도 또할겸 네, 어, 비건 크림 푸드를 오늘 진행하도록 하겠습니다 비빔밥 You might already know this one And then with a almost similar ingredients We're gonna make 잡채 And also at the end We're gonna make a Korean p o p s o n g We are gonna do plant-based Korean foods that you can make at home. I've tried to use all the ingredients that I could find in my local shops, but there are key ingredients that you can't really replace. Those are soybean paste, t e n j a n g You can get it on Amazon, Korean online shops, Asian online shops. Way more intense than miso. Second ingredient is chili paste. It's called gochujang, made of chili and rice. Third ingredient is something that just the smell of it really reminds me of Korea and my mom's cooking, which is sesame oil. But this is not any sesame oil. This is Korean sesame oil. It's more intense. I've used other country sesame oils, but they don't really smell the same. We are going to start with the most famous Korean dish, which is bibimbap, and you can make it plant-based and it's so filling so let's begin first we gotta make rice short grain rice you can either use this instant rice if you feel lazy otherwise you can make it at home and I'll show you how this collects almost exactly 100 grams so we're gonna wash it three times The way how to scale this is one to two, I mean. Rice is one, water is two. So make the rice flat and then measure with your index finger like this and measure it with your thumb. So the rice comes up till here. Don't move your fingers and put it on top of the rice like that and measure the water and you'll see the water touching where my thumb is. Then that's a perfect one to two ratio. Okay, let's cook it. So in the smallest hob, start with high heat. After boiling, you have to reduce to the lowest setting and cover. And then after covering, time 15 minutes. So we're gonna prepare the vegetables, zucchini, carrots, onions, any vegetables that you want. I've also prepared here some spinach. These four ingredients, it's gonna be repetitive from now on. Okay, half an onion and we're gonna saute it. So here we're gonna cook all the vegetables separately. To save time, I'm gonna put half-half because I'm lazy. So, let's make sure it doesn't burn. I personally like the onion slightly crunchy for this one. Mm. 
Now we're gonna cook pyogo shiitake mushrooms. We need a little bit of minced garlic, a little bit of sugar or syrup, and soy sauce. of sesame oil pepper I forgot to cut the mushroom beforehand we're gonna cut it now this is optional but you can also saute some spinach in the mushroom marinade that is left over in the pan sprouts cook it super quickly because you want the crunchiness this is it you can also have bell peppers there's so many options that you can add here the point is you have to cook them all separately except for onions and carrots as I did Here's the rice. So what I do is after 15 minutes, I leave it covered for at least five minutes because it makes the rice more moist and sticky. And then you do this. And then you put ingredients one by one. Line it so it's colorful and tasty. This is when you put some gochujang on top. What is good about this is that you can control how much gochujang you put in. And then put a little bit of more changirum. Because you can't have enough changirum. You can put some sesame seeds. Korean plant-based meal Just mixing it like a salad Okay, let's eat mm. Mm, Tastes like home I have a lot of leftover from last time. Bimbap. You can eat, have it as panchan, but you can also reuse it as chapche. This is sweet potato starch noodles. Chapche is like really, really common. You can put this in water, soak it for a few hours, but then you can do a shortcut. You can boil it for five to six minutes. So after five to six minutes, drain the water just like pasta. In the package, it says to rinse it in cold water, but I'm not gonna do that. Put back the noodles in the pan because we gotta mix. This is like maybe two portions or like one and a half. I'm gonna put mushrooms, bean sprouts. I sauteed some bell peppers as well for the colors and taste. Spinach. And now we're gonna add around one. Two for now. Tablespoons of soy sauce, normal soy sauce. Of course, mint garlic. Maybe like one fourth of a spoon. The secret ingredients, Korean sesame oil. More sesame oil, the better. <laughs> Pepper. A little bit of syrup. I would personally use plum syrup. So recently Josh went to the biggest Korean supermarket and I was like, give me plum syrup. And this is what he got me. This is plum juice. This is like plum punch. But anyway, you can use syrup Like, I'll say the noodles, after mixing them, they become golden Kind of like shiny, shiny golden That's what you want You know? It needs a little bit more soy sauce And that's it mm. I love it when it's warm But it's also served cold Doesn't this look so delicious? Oh my gosh, I love chapche Mm. And of course, we're gonna have some gay sesame seeds <laughs> Plant-based chapche Amazing, right? Really traditional Korean food It's actually my soul food mm. 
it shouldn't notice that the soy sauce is in there or either the chamgyeom. Everything is super subtle, so subtle that you should be able to taste the mushrooms, bell peppers, the zucchini, and should be more like moreish. So this is not like a main dish. This is like a you know like a side dish. It looks like a star, but it's not the star of the show. This is more like a supporting actor who acts better than the main actor. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this is one of my favorite Korean noodles. Probably because I grew up eating it and it also reminds me of mom. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. Okay, now we're making Tengjang Jjigae, which is a Tengjang stew, which is soybean paste stew. This is also a very common, very traditional Korean soup slash stew. So we will need firm tofu, tenjang, again zucchini, onions, potato, and also this is optional but radish. <laughs> so for the broth, we are gonna use this mushroom water that we used to soak the dried shiitake mushrooms and this kelp. Two small ones. Like that. So we're gonna use radish and onions which will make the broth. Okay now wait, let's make the soup. High heat. Use this water. And put some onions already. This takes the longest. Radish, Asian radish. There's a lot already, so I'm not gonna use everything. Can I get this size or make it even smaller? A little bit of chili. I don't think this is the spicy one. Some potatoes, not everything though. Some mushroom. So now after 10 to 15 minutes, you have to pull out the kelp from the soup. And let's put more potatoes, more hobaks in there. Mm. Put some more water, mushroom water. There. Now we're gonna put the tenjang, one heap spoon. There you go. Tofu. Mmm, smells like Korean food now. Here, you can have it kind of spicy if you want. This is not a really hot chili, but you can put a hot chili and make it slightly spicy. If you want the tonjang jjigae to taste more intense, you can add some this garlic, like a little bit. Okay, let's taste the tonjang jjigae. There's too little of the water now. If you want to make it a little bit more intense without adding any anchovies or clams or whatever, you can also, if you have, if you don't, you can skip this. A little bit of gochujang, like not much. A little bit, a tiny little bit like this. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, better. There are so many varieties that I want to show everybody, but I don't want to overwhelm people. There's so many other panchas that you can do. 
Anyway, so this is 전장찌개. Use a ladle. Mmm, I put too much tofu. I love it. Mm. <laughs> it is so good. Mm. Mm. Which one is your favorite? Chapchi. Yeah. Me too. Mmm. <laughs> As you can see, uh, this is a very simple Korean food, um, papsang, food table. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just there's so many vegan Korean foods, and it's not really well known because I think Korean food is like gaining the momentum right now. But anyway, this is the most simple, basic ones that you can try out if you are trying a plant-based diet. If you have like no more water left in there, here, you can add more water in there, put a little bit more soybean paste and reboil it. It's gonna be the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 